hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new i want to welcome you to this amazing hello family everyone. welcome to my channel <laughs> yes. okay a distraction for us a few seconds all right so today after welcoming you today we are going to be making ghana sobolo okay this is a requested video i said below this is a requested video so we're going to be making Very ghana well. so below so why you continue to watch this video if you have not subscribed please hit that subscribe button it's free of charge and also the bell icon without saying that um let's dive into today's video thank you and you're going to enjoy this all right so let me walk you through the ingredient that we are going to need to make this amazing drink okay so first of all you're going to need your hibiscus leaves and usually it's dry so this is what sobolo is made out of hibiscus leaves um how do you call it some people call it bisa uh the roselle uh leaves okay and then the quarter cup of crushed huintian okay Thank grains you. of slim <laughs> uh grains of slim okay that's what i have i have a quarter uh, one cup sorry i have I have one cup of crushed ginger here, you know, just you crush it. And I have, um, I would say one table, one tablespoon of crushed cloves, okay? Cloves, that is pepper. And, and then I'm going to add dates, okay? This is to sweeten it up. So instead of um, adding regular sugar, I will be using the date and the pineapple I have here organic pineapple and as you can see the color looks different because it is overripe okay this is like way too ripe but i'm using it for the sweetness and this is optional when you're making the pineapple is optional um when you're making sobolo so let's just get start started if you're going to use pineapple like i said i will really really um suggest you get the organic pineapple because we're going to be boiling the skin of the pineapple with the food okay all right so let's get started before you start with your pineapple make sure you the pineapple is really washed and what i usually do is i always have a bottle of this and this is just a one part vinegar one part water okay and mix it and you just spray your fruits and your vegetables with this um leave it for about maybe five minutes and then you rinse it off and that will help uh, really clean it so this pineapple is cleaned and so i'm going to start off by slicing um the skin off or cutting the skin off So now I have the meat of the pineapple. Or you call the food <laughs> of the pineapple. I'm also slicing that. Okay, so now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put everything um, into the pot that I'm going to use in making this drink. All right, so I'm going to add the pineapple to the pot. I'm adding about four dates. I'm going to add the peppers of grain, so the salem pepper, the huintia, and then the next thing is the pepper, and then our ginger. I'm going to add some water. I have about seven cups of hot water here. So I'm going to be adding everything. I'll cover this and sit on the stove on high heat. I'm going to bring it to a boil and then once it starts to boil, I will bring the heat down to medium and let this cook on the stove for 20, 20 to 30 minutes. So what I'm doing is I'm adding extra, I'm adding some more water, okay, this was about five cups of water. So I believe this is perfect. I can already smell the 
the peppers and the ginger it smells amazing this is medicinal okay so let's cover this and then it's starting to boil but once i get that um phospho boiling <laughs> okay all that i mean boiling that i want i'm going to lower the heat and let this you know cook on medium heat you see how it's boiling <laughs> So now I'm going to uh, lower the heat, okay? I'm going to um, bring it to medium. 20 to 30 minutes um, for this phase to be done. This smells amazing. Mm. So now, after 30 minutes, I'm going to be adding the hibiscus leaves, okay? Or the flower. It's more about half a cup more. As you guys can see, the color is really starting to come out. And so I have the heat back to um, on high. I'm going to have this boil for 10 minutes and then I will completely turn off the heat and let it sit and you know. Yes, the hibiscus is going to be infused, you know, into the liquid and that will bring out the color that we need it's been 10 minutes okay so the fire is off i'm going to take this off the heat and set it uh on the side and then i'm going to let this come out completely cool before i strain all these um the chops out at this point when you strain it you can go ahead and strain it but when you strain it you want to add the sugar while it's hot or warm so that you know the temperature will just help melt the sugar quicker okay or quickly let's say quickly quickly okay so let's just sit this on the side until it cools down all right our sobolo drink is ready so now i'm going to strain okay we are on the straining part. So I have a bowl strainer. All right, so let's pour this through the strainer. So we added one third cup of sugar, cane sugar to this, and I'm going to strain it one last time. This is what our homemade sobolo looks like. You can um, add some ice cubes. Of course, it's going to go in the fridge. We're going to let this uh, cool down, completely cool down, and then we will um, put it in the fridge. So there you have it, homemade sobolo or um, bisap, okay? Whichever way you call it, hibiscus tea, hibiscus drink. Whichever way you can get the hibiscus flower, like the dry leaves on Amazon. And sometimes if you have like local um, food market, they might have it as well. Or in your African store. So like, comment, share, subscribe. Until I come away again with another video. Remain in God and have a blessed week. Bye guys.